this is our state. It's our home. It's where we live. But do we think about all the stories that are here? Hey y'all, look at all these names and dates and titles. I know you can't see them in detail, but this is a literary map of North Carolina in our library, and there's a reason why it's so detailed. From the hazy rolling Blue Ridge Mountains to the crashing waves and shifting sands of the Outer Banks, our state's rich culture and history set the stage for so many stories, many of which star North Carolinian kids just like you. I think you're going to enjoy hearing about these three books, which are just a handful of the lively stories set in the Old North State. Nestled in the forest and mountains near Asheville sits Biltmore Estate, America's largest home, a sprawling palatial mansion known for its library, antiques, gorgeous furniture, and dazzling Christmas decorations. And while the remarkable wealth and history of the very rich Vanderbilt family attracts tourists today, this story begins in the dark, damp basement depths. I have Serafina and the Black Cloak, it is the first in a series by Robert Beatty. Serafina lives hidden in the shadows, a secret child with her father, the estate's handyman. And although lurking the halls at night, catching rats with her bare hands, sneaking books from the wealthy family, and talking to her pa all make her feel happy, Serafina wonders, who is her mother? Why does she have to hide? Why can't she have a friend? One night, Serafina witnesses a black cloak completely engulf a girl. Determined to help, she reveals her identity and fights to find the lost girl and reveal the evil creature beneath the cloak. Will she be able to stop it before another child goes missing? This suspenseful mystery leads you into the dark forest surrounding the Biltmore Estate, uncovering ghastly mystical secrets that defy even Serafina's imagination. Will she find her true identity out there in the dark? Is the attacker really something more than human? And more importantly, is she? You could find Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty, as well as other titles in the Serafina series at our library today. It's also available as an audiobook and an ebook on the NC Kids Digital Library. been to a small eastern North Carolina town. You know the kind I'm talking about, where the Piggly Wiggly is the only landmark, you can't get cell service, and everyone knows everyone's business. You might even live in one. Welcome to Tupelo Landing, population 149, and meet Mo, Moses LeBeau, rising sixth grader and diner worker, part of a patchwork oddball family, is the star of this book, Three Times Lucky, by Sheila Turnage. Mo has spent her life searching for her upstream mother, the woman who sent her tied to a board down a river in a hurricane 11 years ago. Even though the colonel, who pulled her out of the river as a baby, and Miss Lana, who looks, took them both in, make a happy home, Mo never stops wondering who her real mother is. One day, a mysterious detective from Winston-Salem arrives in town. The very next day, a crotchety old local turns up dead. Mo and her best friend Dale quickly form their own detective agency. But when the colonel, who is like a father to Mo, leaves town and the killer kidnaps his next victim, Mo becomes determined to solve the mystery, even as another hurricane rages through Tupelo Landing. Will Mo's investigative skills help solve the crimes the city slicker detective can't? Read to see how Mo cracks the case and learns the true meaning of family in the process. You can find Three Times Lucky by Sheila Turnage in our library. We can also get other books about Mo and her friends through Interlibrary Loan. This book, as well as others in the series, are available as both audiobooks and ebooks on the NC Kids Digital Library. <sighs> just imagine it sleeping in a cozy shack, just steps from the crashing waves riding your bank's pony up the beach to school, spending your summer days swimming in the sound, crabbing and exploring the forest on a quiet, peaceful island with your closest friends and your trusty dog. This is Taffy's life in her coastal Hatteras Island village. Taffy of Torpedo Junction, that is. 
This book was written by Nell Wise Wechter in 1957. This was Taffy's life until a war began. Taffy and her community are tense and scared when they hear of the conflict abroad, but everything changes when Nazi U-boats begin sinking American ships right off the coast. Coast Guard surveillance, blackouts, and new rules changed Taffy's idyllic, unhindered childhood upside down. But Taffy is spunky and curious, and she doesn't like the feeling that her gramp and other adults are hiding something from her. What's going on in that big house in the woods? What is that thing on the roof? And what's that sound on the beach? One night, Taffy and her friend sneak out to investigate the beach. Will the two bold girls unravel the mystery, or will they come face to face with the enemy? This adventure uncovers a little-known piece of North Carolina history, and it captures the daring and determined spirit of North Carolinian children. You can find Taffy of Torpedo Junction, written by Nell Weiswechter, in our library for checkout today. We also have class sets in our book room. This book can also be found on both Destiny Discover and the NC Kids Digital Library. So, I bet this map makes a little more sense to you now. Clearly, North Carolina is a place full of mystery and adventure, maybe a little magic. The three girls in these books, although they're hardly teenagers, exemplify the bold and courageous spirit of North Carolinians. Each book takes you on a trip to the beautiful geography of the state, from the mountains, through the fields and the pine forest, all the way to the ocean. Which one do you want to read first? I can't wait for you to come back to the library and check out one of these books. Bye for now. Thank you.